Welcome to Suerte del Molino, a farm in Andalusia in Spain. We have some construction work going. This is the old bridge. When I built it, these two poles were still wet. I cut them off the Asabucha over there. So over time it took the shape, a U shape, because of the weight crossing there. And now we have something new. I widened the entrance here. And this is what it looks like right now. Let's go down. This I've done this morning. Great. This is the height of this wall. The water will go this way and then down here where the excavator is. And for me to cross, I'll come from here. This will be all neatly paved. And I will carry on with that wall here where this piece of trunk is right now. Uh, I like the shape of it. So the blocks will come this way up to here and then I can fill up the area and then I can prepare the run up for how I want to cross the bridge. This part I've built this morning. We have built it before I'm in trouble again. I have a great helper especially when it comes to building work. Ah, some blocks filled with the concrete. I am designing some sluice gate here. And then this side, these two blocks, there are marks on them. This is the height of this wall so I was thinking of taking it the water here next to this Palovnia and then take it on contour towards that side we are at least in a position to receive some water but uh, it is not completed as yet. I have added a lot of rocks there. This is also a an old leaky weir. Solid rocks here, so uh, we'll have to see what the water does. And then I have added some pieces of metal here. Now I'm still indecisive whether to lip it or not. And how far? I'm not sure. But that will come. I am happy that we have progressed this far. I 
visualize actually how far the water will bank up going that way so imagine all of this is full will be a great sight I was thinking of bringing the water from that new distribution pond this way we have a home oak here we have the asabuche here the wild olive and then we have a few more of these horn oaks it can actually moisten this area it will be a nice addition to the swales we already have what i don't want is for this water just to go back into the creek then i have not accomplished anything so the first reason why i do this is erosion control second and equally important is to have a crossing and then uh, i hope to have a distribution of water from here a buildup of sediment it will be great so outstanding work here on a sluice gate on the lip filling these blocks bringing up this level and then concrete them so that should water come over here it doesn't take all of this away carry on with this blocks this way prepare the a smooth build up so that I can come with a wheelbarrow or with an excavator. I can widen this as well, take out this oleander. This area will also be flooded. The water will actually come up to those trunks or those rocks down there this way good I actually expect a lot of erosion to take place here and I will have to do something about it exactly what I'm not clear on and then the water will come down here this is actually the height of the wall so it does lower quite a lot and then the water can go down this old Roman then improved by the Moors canal and then uh, somebody asked what did the Spanish build and uh, the answer is nothing they have maintained the building work of the ancestors of the previous inhabitants of the land and then they also organized uh, the whole dehesa system the water will come down here right there where the fallen tree is now but it will leave here 
and this is not what I want so I will make a sediment trap here the water coming down here bringing the soil with it can settle here before it carries on so this canal is widening here so then the water will come this way hopefully pass my temporary earthen crossing and then go back into the creek here I have planted some vetiver and some cane um, something I slowly get to understand is somehow for most of the plants we planted life is over I know there is still a lot of warmth and sunshine but uh, this is now not how it works it grew from spring until the heat wave and then it's more or less over even the polovnias are discoloring the leaves they're also packing their bags going on holiday it's a difficult climate it's the first year we are not complaining because we slowly get to understand how it works beautiful till next time Goodbye.